Matt G12 here. Congratulations to the two-time, two-time Olympic gold medalist, Clarissa Shield. She did a good job in this fight, real good job. The first round kind of looked rough, but she was able to edge it out. Second, third, and fourth, pure domination. She started laying on her, and, and the Netherlands chick, she ain't want the, she ain't want the medal bad enough. I think she was just okay getting that silver. But all in all, good job by Clarissa Shield. She put in a lot of hard work, and I think it's time for her to go pro and get what 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 she deserves, get what's hers. Cause to be honest with you, as much as she deserves the uh, appreciation and and the awards and stuff. They're not going to give her the proper recognition that she really deserves. They're not going to get her endorsements like, like she did. Because I watched that uh, documentary called T-Rex on Netflix. Good documentary. Check it out. If you got Netflix, check it out. But after she had won her first gold medal, it was kind of tough getting her some endorsements. Which is kind of hard for me to believe. I mean... I think she got an agent now, but for the committee to, like, not reach out to anybody, I don't know if that's their position or not, but, but for somebody not to reach out to a company to to get her endorsements, I mean, it's kind of hard for me to believe that, I don't know what the stipulation is for amateurs, but, I mean, can you, you can't talk to Everlast and, like, build up a a line for her, build up a, a special edition for her, like ever, for Everlast or anything. But enough getting sidetracked. She did a wonderful job. I'm glad she won. She don't know what's next. She's too happy to think about all that other stuff. She's just happy to uh, win two medals. And she, she'll be in the history book forever as being the first female to win two gold medals back to back. And now she probably going to, I think she'll probably end up going pro. And she'll probably be the one to bring women's boxing back to the forefront after the void that Leila Ali caused. But yeah, all in all, she did a good job jabbing. Well, she jabbed to get on the inside. That was the main thing. She couldn't get on the inside in the first round. But in the second round, she used her jab to get sneak on the inside. And she started using the, uh, I call it the Roy Jones style freestyle boxing and was able to be elusive with it and didn't get too hit too much when she had her hands up. She like she fight better with her hands down. But um it may have something to do with the headgear too. All in all, good job by Carissa Shield. Matchy twelve, I'm out.